Hi everyone! Today's lesson is about the shape of a graph and the values of its derivative, and also the shape of the derivative and the increasing and decreasing nature of the original function. The main idea of the class is the derivative f prime of a function f gives the slope of the tangent line to f at any point. Here's the graph of f and its tangent line at x, the derivative is the slope of that tangent line. When I look at the graph of this, whenever the function is increasing, that means the tangent line would have a positive slope. And when the function is decreasing, the tangent line would have a negative slope. So our job is, given this the graph of the function, let's figure out where is the derivative positive and negative and zero. Wherever the function is increasing, the derivative will be positive. So I indicated the derivative is positive by the green line. And wherever the function is decreasing, the derivative will be negative because the tangent line will have a negative slope. So I indicated that with the red line. And now I'm indicating where the derivative must be zero because imagine at all these hills and valley, the tangent line would be a flat line, a horizontal line. So that's where the derivative will be zero. Let's try some more examples. These are all graphs of the original function f, and let's indicate where the derivative is positive or negative, or zero. You can use color coding, or I'm just gonna use symbols on this one. For the first one, I'm indicating positive. Wherever the function is increasing, the derivative is positive. Wherever the, the function is decreasing, the derivative is negative, and zero at the hills and valleys. And here's what I got for the second one. What do you think? For the third function, I indicated that the derivative must be negative and then zero and then positive. What do you think? And here's what I got for the fourth one. Here, 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 here's the first part of your assignment. For each function, this is the original function is graphed, indicate where the derivative is positive, negative, and zero. And you can use symbols or colors, whatever you like. The summary of the lesson is that when the function is increasing, its derivative is positive. And when the function is decreasing, the derivative is negative. And when the function has a hill or a valley, the derivative is zero. And what I mean by the derivative is zero or positive and negative, I mean the derivative has positive y values or negative y values or zero y values. Okay, let's try going the other direction. Let's look at the graph of the derivative this time instead of the original function and determine from the graph of the derivative where the original function is increasing or decreasing. Yep, so let's try this example. It can be a little bit subtle. So above is the graph of the derivative this time of a function f, which we can't see. So just looking at the graph of the derivative, determine where the original function is increasing and decreasing. So before I dive right into the problem, with derivatives, we always just want to be extra careful. So I'm going to look at the graph of the derivative and just indicate to myself, where is the derivative positive or negative? So positive is above the x-axis and negative is below the x-axis. So I indicated here. Once I do the preliminary step of indicating to myself where the derivative is positive and negative, then I can just write down where the function is increasing. So the function is increasing from negative 12 to negative 3, and then again from 4 to 11, and then from 17 to infinity. And you can use interval notation as I have done here. And now I can since I've already indicated to myself where the derivative is negative, I can just write down now where the function is decreasing. So the function is decreasing from negative infinity to negative 12, and then again from negative 3 to 4, and then from 11 to 17. And here's the second part of your assignment. So the, this is the graph of f prime. So decide where is f prime positive and negative, and then translate that into where the function is increasing and decreasing. Hey, good luck everyone. Hope you're well.